Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video, we begin in Blender, though I do have Kerbal Space Program open, you can hear the sound of the space plane hangar in the background. And I'm here to introduce the Taurus space plane. This is merely an introduction to an idea, and we're not going to do any launches yet. But I'll show you the space plane also in Kerbal Space Program. And the idea is a more directly shuttle-derived new shuttle. Basically, it is based on my Shuttle Mark II, but the Shuttle Mark II has substantial differences from the Space Shuttle. This is very shuttle-derived in that we literally took the OMS tanks out. Basically, oops, uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, well, let's go into uh, transparent view. Uh, you can sort of see here, there's a tank here, tank here, and tank here, and there are on both sides. Those are the OMS pods, those are the tanks. It's just that in the OMS pods in the back of the shuttle, the two big tanks are side by side. And here they're in line, and uh, that'll be MMH and MON3 or MMH and NTO, however you want to configure your AJ-10190, and then the helium tank to pressurize them. So the tanks are in line in the body of this, and so we literally just take the tanks from the shuttle and put it on here and of course we would use the OMS engines as well and that's why it has these big gaps here that's where the OMS engines go so this is a shuttle that is built around the shuttles uh, the space shuttles OMS system and with that of course because it's smaller than the space shuttle it gets a lot more delta v and I named it the Taurus space plane because I viewed it as a competitor to Orion. A direct competitor, same mission profile, same Delta V, uh, same launch vehicles that it could go on potentially. But it is a space plane. Now, there is a downside. The question is whether the heat tiles on it would be able to come back from the moon. And I've masked them the same as the shuttle space tiles. So the shuttle would have been able to come back from the moon, that's tough to say. But we do have this starship thing that seems to think that it can use its tiles instead of like a huge ablative heat shield in order to return from lunar trajectories. Now if they can do that, their tiles can't be any heavier than the shuttle's tiles, otherwise starship would be really, really heavy. So their shuttle tile mass or lighter, in that case, this can work on a trans, uh, trans Earth tra trajectory coming back from the moon. So that is the idea. It is not meant to be a very, you know, impressive vehicle. It's got space for four in the cockpit there and then some cargo room here. And you can imagine little floating packages or whatever. It's a pressurized volume. And then there's a hatch in the back. You can see the wings fold up, though. That's a complicated thing. We'll talk about that in, in Kerbal. Um, there's the, so that's the main hatch when it docks. We put a docking port on that end. Uh, here, this is the crew ingress hatch. We can't really use that hatch to enter the vehicle because it'll be attached to a launch vehicle. So there's the crew ingress hatch, and I guess in an emergency of some sort, that could be used. It could potentially use the same escape system that the Shuttle Mark II has uh, if we put a decoupler here. The Shell Mark II had strap-on SRBs on the side, and that would lift this off just as it would lift that off. Um, overall, the dry mass is about 16 tons. And, well, let's go to Kerbal to discuss that aspect of it. So, this is what it looks like with all the textures. And re uh, the reason why I decided to do this was because I got textures from Substance 3D, had to pay for them. Uh, it's a uh, what's got um, subscription thing, twenty dollars a month. But I only wanted one month. But what, they allow you to get thirty, not textures really, they're materials, thirty materials. And I already knew what materials I wanted. Uh, you can see uh, we got tile material. It's not perfect on these joints, of course. I've called it Minami. That's I'm just going with that. <laughs> That's it's not a reference to a single person, but it's a sort of generic Japanese name. Uh, so, could be multiple people. But, yep, the textures really inspired this. And looking inside, of course, this is pass through system capable, compatible. So, this is what it looks like inside. These were also textures that I got 
And the front cockpit is the same as with the Shuttle Mark II, so that's using the same padding I got from Art Station. And we've got seats. Haven't really finished the instrument panel or anything. So that is the idea. And now let's see about its capabilities here. So 13, uh, sorry, 31 tons fully loaded. So it's amazingly not that much heavier than Orion, right? I mean, it's about the same ballpark and 17 tons uh, in mass. And I massed out the tiles and everything. Uh, the tiles, by the way, uh, and all the thermal protection. The thermal protection system is 2.66 tons. So that's on that. Now, when you take a look at that 31 tons, uh, keep in mind that the shuttle, I always bring out the shuttle cockpit to compare. The shuttle looks like this. Maybe it's better to put it on its tail. Uh, right, that's the shuttle cockpit. And so you can see the relative bulk of the shuttle in comparison. This would not be able to fit in the shuttle's bay very easily uh, unless we took off the wings and the vertical stabilizers, maybe then it could. But yeah, so considering the shuttle's mass, this is not too bad uh, an estimate. Meanwhile, there's the whole Starship thing, which is supposed to be, what, 100 tons empty? And Starship, you know, looks like that. Again, uh, the distance might be... Ah, no, I didn't want to take that off. I don't know why the shader sort of makes a seam there. Of course, these are two separate parts. That's to allow just one animation per part. So there's the hatch there and then the hatch at the back. I didn't want it on the same part. But, yeah, the shader sort of makes a seam there. I'm trying to put this tail to tail. There we go. That's a more coherent comparison. Now, the dry mass of Starship, of course, is the wet mass. The dry mass of Starship is supposed to be, uh, well, there's 90 tons, but we don't have the fins, right? We don't have the fins or the engines, right? I was wondering, why is it 90 tons? Uh, it's 90 tons because we don't have the fins or the engines right now. But considering that huge bulk is that mass and meant to carry people in quite a much larger sort of pressurized volume, uh, this being 17 tons doesn't seem too bad either. So, and that, and of course, Starship is supposed to come back from lunar trajectories. In theory, we will see. But if we can do that, then we should be able to do this. Now, the problem with the wing folding, I did want the wings to fold, but uh, you'll notice I've only put the B9 procedural uh, control surfaces here because I haven't made the control surfaces. And that's because I'm not too sure the control surfaces will work if I fold the wings at all. Um, you notice these obviously don't go along with the animation there. So yeah, maybe we'll just skip the animation, I don't know. Uh, skip folding the wings. It depends on the launch vehicle, whether that's okay or not. We will have to try it on different launch vehicles. But this was just a brief introduction to the system. Uh, I sort of like how it turned out, except for that seam. Uh, there are minor details that are at issue, like we go in here. You can see the tanks are still in there. Didn't really have to put them in there. There's a uh, there's, uh, gap here that I didn't notice in Blender, but I probably need to fill that up. And so stuff like that. And eventually, eventually not, not many people watched my Pizza Hab video, but darn it, this is going to deliver pizza making facilities, you know, ovens and cheese and stuff to the moon. You may not think much of this idea, but I swear it's going to be an interesting idea. <laughs> so we will fill its uh, its uh, cargo room, its cargo volume with uh, many things, many things. Maybe Pop-Tarts. We'll find out. So anyway, there is the Taurus space plane for you. Taurus because, uh, of course, Orion fought Taurus. Orion won, I guess, but I feel like maybe Taurus might make a comeback here. So all right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.